coming at you from 2050 with our host extraordinaire, Potato the Chicken and Frittata the Egg. Uh-huh, I'm a chicken from the future, future chicken. Thanks, Circuitry, and it's so great to see you. Design, Rocket Pants, protector of all. Uh, actually, he's my flying pants. Your incredible flying pants. <laughs> Yo, sounds like potatoes in great distress. Me, my, me, my. <laughs> Potato, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just warming up my pipes. I'm gonna sing a song to my tomato plant, Tony. Grow, grow, precious plant of mine, with luscious fruit upon your vine. From soil to sun, you reach for the skies. And deliver sweet, sweet ketchup for my It's not over. It's not over. Warning, warning, audio sensor's about to blow. Uh, cue the applause? You betcha, loading applause. <laughs> That's not good. Maybe I should have gone with vintage Taylor Swift. Wait, do tomato plants have ears? Yeah, my viney friend told me that plants can sense light, scent, touch, wind, and sound to help them grow. Oh, and don't forget, Healthy soil! And our crops here in 2050 get even more of that. I can taste the ketchup already! <laughs> but enough about me. I've got a question for you. What do this tomato plant and this Olympian have in common? Uh, they both make a splash in red? <laughs> Good one, Frittata! Actually, bananas have more in common with humans than tomatoes! What? They share more of the same DNA. <laughs> Explains a lot. Circuitry, that's just bananas. <laughs> or should I say, humanas. <laughs> no, they both dig soil. <laughs> Today's special guest and planet protector is Penny Alexiak from Canada. An Olympic swimmer with seven medals. Penny believes that every small step or swim stroke we take to help create a healthier planet counts. Penny helps others grow sustainable farms and gardens. Yay, Penny! Go, Penny! Go, Penny! Go, 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 Penny! <laughs> That's my treat room for Penny. <laughs> yeah. Hit it, Eggster! An Olympic swimmer with medals galore. Penny's got a green thumb, loves being outdoors. Healthy food is her jam grown from soil supreme. She even has a dog whose name is Bean. Let's hear it for planet protector Penny Alexiak. Take it away, potato and circuitry. Ready to time twist Penny into the future? My rules pretty much are always revved and ready. Portal opening in three, two, one. Hi, potato. Hi, frittata. Hi. Hey, Penny. Welcome to the year 2050, and thanks for being on the Future Chicken Today Show. You're not only an Olympic champion and awesome athlete, you're also a protector of the planet. Can you tell us about what motivated you to help create a healthier future for the Earth? For me, I think it was just because I grew up in the beaches, and so we were always by water and everything, and it was just really important for us to be aware of our surroundings and what we could do to protect the planet and make a better future for ourselves. I love nature. I love the fresh air and the trees, and especially the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you grow a vegetable garden. Oh. How does that make you feel? I, I just love the idea of kind of growing your own fruits and vegetables. I think it's so cool to be able to make the food that you're putting in your body. Incredible! How do you think positive thinking can help kids continue to be protectors of the planet? Positive thinking is going to get us such a long way. I think kids are always the biggest change makers in the world because they have so much imagination, so much inspiration, and having that positive outlook, you're going to want to go and make that positive change, and you're going to encourage other people to help you as well. Oh boy! What do you think some small steps are that kids could take to help protect the planet? 
When I was younger, we used to go to the beach and we used to pick up garbage and we would go around the community and we would put little fish signs over the grates just to remind people that when you are doing things like washing your car or put things into the grate to be conscious of what you're using. Thank you very much. Things like that are small, but also make a huge difference. And it's also just fun to hang out with your friends and do something that makes you all feel good. I couldn't agree more. That's amazing. Penny, could you do something special for us and put on all your Olympic medals? Wow, that's a lot of medals. How many of them are there again? I have seven. Oh, that is amazing. They must be really heavy. They are pretty heavy. Wow. You must have a very strong neck. I've definitely had to work out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Do you think you could show us one close up? This one's from Rio in 2016. No way. This was a gold one. I won this one in the 100 freestyle. What does freestyle mean? Well, technically freestyle, you can do any stroke you want. However, most people do front crawl. Is that is that like this? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, you're bang on. They're very noisy. I know. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> What an eco champ. All that healthy food she grows and eats must have gone to her head, in a good way. You think positive thoughts could turn me into an Olympian? I'm incredibly good at rolling. Oh, 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 oh. And maybe I could be a swimmer, cause I'm a natural at the breaststroke. <laughs> what do you think, Tony? <gasps> oh, my plant, it's lost all of its juice. What's wrong with it? Chill potato, let me see. Rocket pants, scan tomato plant. Scanning tomato plant now. Tomato plant is sufficiently watered, but the soil lacks nutrients. Someone forgot to feed it. Ah! Oh no! Quick, call, call, call drone the dishes. We need to get it some food. Uh, what do you feed soil anyway? Worm stew. It's filled with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, the major nutrients plants need to grow. Ah! <laughs> okay, great. I'll go get some now and mix it in with the dirt. You mean soil. Alas, dirt is dead. White rocket pants. Soil is alive and rocking with life. That's why it needs nutrients to keep it healthy. Correct. One tablespoon of healthy soil has more organisms in it than there are people on Earth. Astounding. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you mean... My foot could crush millions? Huh. Better watch where I step. Don't worry, Tony. One order of compost stew coming right up. In the meantime, how do you dig into soil? Do you plant flowers in the craziest of pots? Or create snazzy rock gardens? Or grow a pizza garden? Pizza garden? Think of all the fresh veggie toppings we can grow to put on a delicious gooey pizza. That's what I call from garden to pizza oven sustainability. Affirmative. Now, let's bring back Penny Alexiak for a fun game of Would You Rather? Time twister portal opening in three, two, one. It's game time. Would you rather live without internet or without your phone? Uh, I think without my phone, honestly. Get rid of it. And number two, would you rather drive a futuristic electric car or a flying tractor? Futuristic electric car. Sounds really cool. Would you rather swim in a pool of spaghetti or a pool of jello? I feel like spaghetti would be easier than jello. <laughs> Well, Penny, it was so great getting to know you better. You're not only a champ when it comes to protecting the planet, you're a good sport, too. Bye, frittata. Bye, potato. Thank you. Great game, potato. I picked swimming in spaghetti, even though the meatballs could be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> now let's see how Tony's doing. So sweet! So adorbs! Affirmative! That is super cute! Ooh. 
Oh, you are one good-looking plant toasters. Thanks for hanging with us today from the future. And remember what Penny said, if you head outdoors... And connect with nature. And remember to feed it with love. And nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Yum, yum. It'll make you, me, and the world feel... Positive. Planet, Planet positive. positive. I'm so happy I could see. Ah, Potato, you're going to make me crack. Warning, warning. Overload. Ow! <laughs> oh, oh, frittata, sorry. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Just keeping it positive. Thanks for joining us in 2050. And remember, together we make the future.